Just a short time ago in the Democratic Republic of Congo, playtime was replaced by wartime. Children were often abducted to function as soldiers or sex slaves. And in some regions of this vast Central African nation, abductions still happen every day because Congo is officially at peace. But the reality? Here, peace and justice are too often fleeting. The country is very rich, with a very poor population. We have those who are suffering and those who are eating too much. The DRC is saturated with resources, but seeped in conflict. In 1878, King Leopold of Belgium hired the famed explorer Henry Morton Stanley to colonize the region. Forced labor was predicated by the threat of amputation if workers didn't meet quotas in harvesting rubber or mining ore. The country suffered under Belgian rule for 50 years. It gained independence in 1960, launching decades of instability. In the mid-1990s, its civil war became known as Africa's World War, involving seven nations. A fragile peace has been in place for about 10 years. But children like 16-year-old Kayunga Mpilambi are still rebuilding their lives. As a small child, he was abducted from his classroom to serve as a soldier. It was not easy because they forced me. I didn't want to. I was going to school. They take me from the school I went to. It was not easy. The local United Methodist Church discovered there was a whole society of street children like Kayungu. The congregation used what few resources it had and opened a school of carpentry and masonry to mentor a pathway into productive society. We don't have tools. We don't have equipment. We have the children. They are here. At Jerusalem United Methodist Church in Lumbumbashi, the issues of peace and justice are foremost on the minds of church leadership. They cannot accept that people must suffer. Through peace with justice offerings made by United Methodist congregations around the world, the church launched the Jerusalem Justice and Peace Ministry, sponsoring educational forums that challenged reprehensible practices, activities of injustice that have become so commonplace that they are considered the status quo. We need to respect each other and to sit together. We cannot keep quiet. If the recent thing is wrong. A prevailing issue of justice is conflict mining, which exploits the local population in order to fund war and illicit activities. In other words, the profits fund conflict. In Eastern Congo, Brutal rebel groups enslave workers and commit mass rape. It is one of the most dangerous places in the world for women and children. I saw that women had been raped, and also there were killings. In other parts of the DRC, workers are paid meager wages under horrendous conditions, while foreign companies reap huge profits. The church is bringing the issue out in the open. We're pushing people to understand and to change their way of thinking, also their way of doing things and sharing things. Paying a fair price for goods and services. Educating the masses that disease is not caused by witchcraft, that there is value in human life. For a country that has cut its teeth on injustice, these are all new ways of thinking. If somebody has a problem, for him to understand, for him to understand and to change, it takes time. But we will not give up. I do not give up. So we keep just doing it every day. Through the training and formation, we can touch many people. When you support Peace with Justice Sunday, 
you support a variety of programs that shed light on economic exploitation, war, political oppression, and cultural domination. You strengthen the church to advocate publicly in communities and nations to bring peace and justice to all God's children. Peace with Justice Sunday aims to make Shalom visible and active in people's lives and communities by setting people free from bondage. Please participate in Peace with Justice Sunday and know that you are living out a faithful expression of Christian love. Write a check to your local church and designate it for Peace with Justice Sunday. Or to learn more ways to give, log on to umcgiven.org slash pwjs.